What's going on? This is DJ Cut, and today I'm going to show you how to do a custom white balance on the Sony A7S Mark II. So I started looking on YouTube for a bunch of videos on how to set a custom white balance, and I saw a bunch of videos and they seem to be only geared towards uh, photography. I have a gray card, and this is how you set the custom white balance, kind of. Um, I hope they fix this in the, in the next camera. When you're in uh, movie mode, you can't set a custom white balance. You have to go into manual mode, and once you save it, um, it's saved to a preset, but it's only accessible for uh, manual mode in photos. Once you switch back into video mode, those presets that are there, you can't see. But once you take the picture, it lets you know the Kelvin temperature and it lets you adjust the color. So as long as you remember what those settings are, then you can go back into video mode and then you can customize it. It's not a seamless transition, but that's the way I found out. So right now I'll show you how I set a custom white balance for video mode. This technique can work for all the different cameras. And the only thing that you need is a 18% gray card, which I have here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're set up for video. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our white balance menu. And at the very, very bottom, there's an option that says set up custom white balance. But when we press that, it wants us to go into manual exposure. It won't let us do it. So we're gonna switch into manual exposure, takes the picture profiles off, everything's uh, auto on it. So now let's bring up our white balance again. And we're gonna set custom white balance. So it brings up a little circle. We're gonna put our gray card, try to reflect that off the light the best, and then push the center button. And so it says that our Calvin temperature is 3600 and we have an M2. So now we can save that to um, different presets. So we're gonna save that to preset number three. So remember that. 2600 Calvin M2. Now let's go to our custom. We set it to custom three. Well, when we get to custom three, you notice it's saved at 5500, and that's not what we saved. And so for some reason, when you save it in manual or for photo mode, it doesn't transition over to video. But what we can do is we know we have our Calvin temperature and we know the color filter. So what we can do is we can go in here and now we can manipulate and change this to our setting. And now we can go over the color and switch this down to M2. And now we have our custom white balance. So I'm not sure if there's any other way, but this is the only way that I found to do uh, custom white balance uh, online um, it'd be nice if we could save it to those presets but it looks like you can't but at least you can get the temperature and the color and the great thing about the the color when it comes to matching other cameras um, I feel Sony is their uh, presets are a little green so you know you can you know uh, change the color more blue more magenta um, depending on your liking and obviously what what you're using it so, for so it's it's very very nice when it when it comes to that so for me um, I like the preset that it does have but sometimes I'll add a little bit more red to what it's set at in there thank you guys for watching this video if you guys could please subscribe if you guys have any questions uh, leave them in the comments give me a little thumbs up I'd appreciate it if you guys are wondering I got this on Amazon it was like 10 bucks or something like that it comes with a gray card a black card and a white card not sure what the other two cards are for this is the only one i use to set my white balance so i'll put a link in the description of where i got this thank you guys for watching